Hey there everyone, this is Danielle taking a first look at The Flame in the Flood, Complete Edition. Uh, I have played this game once before, a while ago. I only played it for a little bit, and I don't really remember it, so this is pretty much a first look. Um, it's, it's sort of a wilderness survival kind of game, I guess? Uh, I don't know if that's a good way to describe it. Well, we'll have a look. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, anyway, let's go. I'm hearing raining noises. Yep. Um. Hmm. The fire is sleeping. <laughs> Shh, tiny fire is dreaming. Oh, that's probably the flame in the flood from the title, huh? <laughs> okay, let's look at the options. Um, yeah, I guess I'll use the default settings. Clearly, you can't actually configure the controls, which is a little annoying. Ooh, new game. Um, let's see, I'll go with Traveller. There's a skeleton there, and there's a puppy, and it says, do not die, so I guess I won't die. Oh, sleeping fire. Shh, tiny fire is dreaming. I feel like the loading times are a bit longer than they probably need to be, but eh, whatever. It's not a huge deal. It's not super annoying. It's still a little bit annoying. <sighs> Oh, I've been getting over a cold. You won't be able to hear it in my voice. Hopefully I sound fine. Uh, okay, um... There's the little puppy. The puppy's... The puppy's bringing... Is that me? I assume that's me. There's a radio in my bag. Maybe there's a clue in that radio on where I should go next. New goal, radio signal. Okay, so yeah, I'm playing as that, is that uh, girl, I guess? I'm playing as her, so she's a girl. That's the rules. Get some corn. Probably a good idea to get some corn. So I can craft an ash cake. How do I set it to fire? Use fire? Okay. Okay. Like that. Ash cake. A dry cake made from corn. Edible? Yeah, I think I should make one of those. That's like a good idea. And I might hang on to that for a bit. Uh, until I get a bit hungrier, and then I can eat it. Player inventory. Y button. Open scouts backpack to access items, craft supplies, and examine your condition. So am I Scout, or is the dog Scout? I, th I think I'm Scout. Okay, yeah, so the Y button just opened this crafting menu. I assume I can scroll. Yeah, I can use L and R to scroll through. I can't use ZL or ZR, they don't do anything. Uh, radio signal, yeah. Okay, I can change my clothes if I find some more. Alright. So there's some useful stuff I can gather just there. It looks like my little puppy there is helping me find things, which is helpful. I only need to be able to shoot crows, I don't know if that's going to be important. The crows are like, super dangerous. Uh, I can search this, gotta hold the button to do that. ZL, quick use menu. Okay. So if I hold ZL, okay, so it shows me stuff that I can just use real quickly. Okay, 
cool. So you can kind of see how this game's going to be working. We haven't seen much of it yet, but you get the basic idea, probably. Uh, Kate, caches, caches? Contain notes with tasks to help you survive. Complete tasks will help you survive the reward. Uh, get task. Basic tools. Um, what does what do you want me to do? Basic tools. Craft a stone knife and stone hammer. Okay. Um, do I have the pieces I need to do that? There's a stone knife. Okay, so I need some more things. Braided cord. I can make braided cord. But I also need flint. Okay, I think I need, maybe I need to go back to the fire to get some flint. Maybe there's another fire if I keep going. Mm, it doesn't look like it. I need to go back. I don't think I can travel any faster than this. This seems to be the speed I move at. Oh, if I tap R, I move a little faster, but it drains that bar just there. Okay, I see. Okay, I think I need to go back to the fire and get some flint. So I can use it to craft some tools. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I saw that, an option for something like that. Use the fire. I can get charcoal. Well, let's get some charcoal, see if I can use that for something. Uh, tinder, a precious commodity for igniting a fire. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure where to get flint. I can make a water filter. Little beasts and poisons that live in floodwaters currently have one. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make more of those probably. get flint. Hmm. I am confuzzled. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Hmm? No? Maybe I can go into this house here and find some stuff. Oh. Yeah. Nope. What's up, puppy? Have you got some clues? See, so yeah, I assume I need to make a raft to go any far. Oh, hang on. I guess I can leave. Maybe I want to leave? Oh, but n then I can't go back to the quest I was doing. Right? Because I've gone down the river. Um, well, okay. I, I guess I've missed the, missed the quest. Alright. daytime now, it just suddenly happened instead of sort of um, the sun rising a bit more slowly than that. <laughs> so that's interesting. Alright, where am I taking this raft anyway? I guess this is the flood that the flame is in. Do I need to look for a dock or something? Probably. Keep an eye out. Entering Foul Bay. Region 1 of 10. Okay. Traveled a little bit over a mile. Oh, hello. There's a little indicator sign showing something over there. 
couple of different things. I guess I want to go towards the first one. It's the forest. And it's over there. It's dock here, I have ground. Goldberg's Gallow, Wilderness, Light on Supplies. Uh, it's not ideal, but maybe there'll be something I can find. What's up, Papa? Well, there's clearly some stuff here. Flint! Yes, please. I've got some flint. The inventory must be full. Yeah. Do I have to make a pouch? Or do I have the pieces I need to make one? Hmm. Looks like I probably don't, otherwise I would have unlocked the recipe. I feel like I should make some of these better clothes. Oh, I used up my stitching kit. Okay. I guess that makes sense. They didn't make room for flint, really? I thought it would. Hmm. I'm a little confused. Where's my inventory? This page. Oh, I see. My backpack's full of stuff. I need to move some stuff around, I guess. We need to equip those boots I just made. Yes. Yeah, my feet are empty. Now I can take the flint, right? Yes. I can probably make some stuff with flint as well. Which will free up a few more slots. I need two flint to make a knife. That's rude. And it looks like, yeah, if you get the same thing, it just takes up the same slot instead of making another slot, which is helpful. Although I don't know if these dandelions are useful for anything. Uh. In this car. Some nuts and bolts. Seems like that might be valuable. Let's have a look. See if I can shuffle my inventory around a bit, maybe. Looks like I can put give some stuff to my dog. Which might be a good idea. Hmm. How much hunger do I get being a dandelion? It doesn't say. Hmm. I'll eat one and see what happens. Okay, they're worth one each, so I might eat all of them. That'll free up some slot. There we go. And then I can take these nuts and bolts. There we go. Oh, there's my inventory at the top there, I just noticed. Okay. Does this car also have nuts and bolts in it? Probably. No, it has a raft schematic. Okay, I probably want that. Right? <laughs> I assume. Um, let's see. Help scribblins help you build out the parts you need to improve your raft. Okay, so is that like a crafting recipe that I've just collected? Bunnies? Goodbye, bunnies. Hmm. I think I've done everything here. 
This game is a little confusing at first, I would say. Very cool, though. Let's go, puppy. Alright, so there's a campsite over there, right? Or like a tent or something. So I probably want to head over there. Often has flint, always has a lit fire. That sounds pretty good. Might be able to get a rest here as well. Because it's apparently night time now. So it might be good here to get a rest. Here's another one of these quest thingies. Yay, I've got enough flint to make stuff. Let's make some stuff. Um... Okay, I can make the... I don't have enough for the hammer? Or only for the hammer? I can't say the whole list. Oh, here we go. Scroll like this. Okay, so I need to make the knife and then turn it into a hammer. And I need more flint and stuff to be able to do that, so that's as far as I can go for now. Okay, so I'm wearing that on my tool belt. Alright, neat. Okay, I can sleep in the bus if I want. Um, what's a moldy lump? Is that useful at all? <laughs> Sounds gross. Probably was something edible once. Nutrition 5, parasites. Okay, yeah, I don't want parasites. That sounds bad. So... I probably don't want that. Uh, let's just keep looking around and see what, I can, what else I can find. Some dandelions. Sumac. Not sure what sumac does. And some more saplings. There's an old little house here I can maybe... Let's loot it. Fish hook and salt. Hmm. Well, they sound useful. Oh, flint. Yeah, I could use some more flint. Um, let me see. Let me give some stuff to Aesop so I can... I've got some breathing room. Um, I'm gonna eat that. There we go. Hmm. Wild garlic. That sounds like fun. Hmm. This inventory system is a little frustrating, I gotta say. I'll take up these dandelions, rip some space. And then give some more stuff to Aesop, I guess. Um, you hold that. And... Aesop. There we go. Now I've got some more slots to work with. We can go get that salt. What you yelling at, Papa? Oh, I see. Depending on how long you rest for, it's gonna use up your other stats a different amount. I don't really need to rest yet, honestly. I think. Maybe I do. Hang on. Fatigue, 72. You know, that should be fine. What is it, Papa? Mm. Oh yeah, I got a quest from this one. Let's see if I can do it. Repair your raft at a marina. If it gets banged up, you can patch it up good as the day it was first cobbled together from junk. Well, I didn't break my raft, so I'm not sure I need to repair it. Hmm. Oh, I can make the hammer? I can, let's make a hammer. I 
Okay, so that would have replaced the knife with a hammer, right? No, I have both. That's interesting. Hmm. Can I actually claim the prize from the other quest now that I've done that? Is that how this works? Yeah, it looks like it. I have a campfire now. Cool. Okay, um, I guess I'll just keep going now? The next thing along is a marina so I can patch up the raft. Not that I need to because I haven't damaged it yet. Just over there is a marina. See the bottom bar there? That's my raft condition. You can see it's perfect. Bait shack. Often has fishing line hook shelter. Well, awesome. Uh, well, I want to. How do I repair the raft? What do I do? Shoo. Whoa, creepy. Raft frame schematic. That sounds interesting. Maybe I can improve my raft with some extra pieces? Rain is coming. Seek shelter and wait for it to pass. Okay, so yeah, I probably need to take some cover. Let's get inside this this, this shack over here. A really good idea. Shh, tiny fire is dreaming. It's still raining. Mm. Rain stopped. Okay, cool. That worked. Hmm, I am getting kind of hungry. I should eat some of this stuff. It says plus 20, does that mean it'll increase my hunger meter by exactly 20, or let's find out. Yep. Cool. I have a water filter here, right? Yeah, how do I... Um, maybe, maybe... Maybe I need something else to get water, like, water from the, from the flood itself. Won't let me use the water filter while I'm standing here. Well, that should work. Hmm. You sound close to the edge or something? Yeah, I don't know how to use it. Okay, there's something coming up. This looks like a church, maybe? Okay, we're going this way. I don't know if I mean to missed it. Yeah, I think we missed it. Okay, doesn't matter, let's keep going. I 
Okay, there's a foresty area coming up. There's also a campsite coming up. And another church. I don't know if this is like randomized. I kind of get the impression... Whoa, that it might be. Um, because of the way this is laid out. I feel like because it's got like permadeath and stuff, this might be like a roguelike sort of game. And it's randomizing things, but... I'm not really sure. I don't remember what layout it had the first time I played, because that was a while ago. Unis. I'm going a bit low on water. Hopefully I can find something that I can actually use. Hang on, I have a water filter here, right? Or I'm standing in water right now, can I... No. I can't filter the water I'm standing in, so I'm not sure how to use the water filter. You are thirsty. Use a jar to gather water from the rain, wells, puddles, or the river. Okay, so I think I need to, like, stand here and then get the water and then use the filter on it. Yeah, okay, and then I can use the water filter to change the blue water into clean water. Oh, wow. it's a crafting recipe, I see. You go in here, you say, I'd like to craft some clean water. And my filter has two uses remaining. Okay, I get it. So if I drink this now... Yeah, that's more like it. Excellent. Uh, got a quilt here? Let's examine the quilt. Okay. If you say so. Mulberries. Sounds tasty. Hmm. So I think they're tasty. I I'm not sure. I forget what a mulberry is. I know it's kind of berry, but beyond that, I'm not sure. Do I need to give water to the dog? The dog doesn't have, like, a, a water meter by the looks of things. But I don't want my doggy to, 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 to thirst or anything. That would be terrible. Okay, that's a marina. Let's go to the marina. Let's see if we can... Uh, no, won't let us go that way. Alright. Let's not go this way, to this farm over here. I think that's a farm. Alright, well I'm about half an hour in, so I think I've got a basic impression of the game. Uh, I really like it. <laughs> uh, the visuals are very distinctive. They're not... Uh, I'd say they're not exactly fantastic, visually. Um, it's very polygonal, like the way the character looks and stuff, but it works. It works stylistically, I think. Okay, there's lots of good stuff here. Um, let's see if we can find some water first. Yeah, I'll take those fishing lines. Thank you. Okay, there's a well, so we can get water from the well. Little jar. Okay, yeah, so we can drink from the well. Can we also... No, we can't drink from the well and get a jar full of water. That doesn't make much sense, but alright. Video games. <laughs> oh, mulberry spoil. Okay, I probably should eat some of them. It says if I eat too many, then you get the scoots. I don't know if that's something that will actually happen, or if that's just flavor text. Um... Let's eat some and see what happens. Not much. Yeah, I'm gonna throw away that multi lump. That seems completely useless. I don't wanna get parasites. That's 
not a moldy lump. I still don't want that. Dandelion tea, yeah, let's make some dandelion tea, that sounds good. What do I need? I need clean water and a fire. Alright, so... I can probably start a fire. So I already have a campfire, can I just put it out? I'm not really sure how to do that. I think if I go to the inventory and go to wherever the fire is... Well, let's put it over here somewhere, I guess. Deploy. Okay, so I'm starting to build fire, which is one word for some reason. Now I have a fire. So I sit at the fire. Like so, and then I can make some tea. I don't know if that hydrates me less or more than regular water, but it's probably a good thing to have. I'm gonna eat the rest of these mulberries. Just to satiate my hunger a little bit. There we go. I don't know if that was a mistake, but whatever. But yeah, um, I'm liking the mechanics. This isn't exactly, I guess, my kind of game. I I had a lot of trouble with Don't Starve, which is sort of similar. Uh, it just spooked me out too much with its nighttime and, and, and creepy crawlies and stuff. As far as I can tell, there's nothing that actually hurts you in this game. You don't have a health bar. So it might be less of a problem. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, it might be the same amount of a problem. lump anyway. Who would want a moldy lump? Uh, I do want some corn. Corn sounds good. Let's eat something. We've got room for corn. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'm liking, I like the look of the game. It's very distinctive. I like the way it controls. It's comfortable. It plays well. Um, I feel like it could maybe give some more information up front, but I think it's, I think it is essentially a roguelike, and they're known for discovering a lot of stuff through play, and so the fact that it's working that way is appropriate. Um, so I'm impressed with that. Again, yeah, I, I get spooked out by this kind of game. Uh, is that a storm? Is that a rainstorm? Is it rainstorming? Do I need to get... Oh no! Oh no, it's raining! Ah! Uh... Oh no! Uh, I only have one jar and it's already full of tea. So I can't, can't even get tea from this. Ah, uh, I need shelter! Oh no, I'm getting cold! Oh no! Okay, there's a tent ahead. Oh no! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have made some mistakes. Okay, I think the rain stopped. That was kind of fast. Um, I probably need to, to get some shelter to dry off, so let's, let's dock. I think if I go near the fire, it'll actually, like, heal me up. Yeah, it looks like it might have randomized locations you can visit of various types. Like, this is a camp, and it has certain things, and they've randomized the exact layout of the camp, and the name of the camp, and that kind of thing. That's the impression I'm getting, anyway. Uh, okay, here's the fire. Let's, let's sit at this fire for a bit to dry ourselves off. Does that work? Is that how you do it? 
wet cured. <laughs> Excellent. I've always wanted to cure wet. Uh, let's make some ash cakes. Oh, my inventory's full. Right. Um. Let's eat something to make room for ash cakes. Can I make something with garlic? Because it says just provide a small bit of nourishment. It doesn't mention being able to make anything. Trip a slot. There we go. Now let's make some ash cakes. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Go away. Go away. Ah! Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Can I heal the broken bone by sitting at the fire? Just like in real life. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Broken bone. Set set a break wrong. You'll hobble for like keep a splint handy. Okay, so I need a splint. Uh, how do I make a splint? Uh, I need rags. Well, I don't have any of those. Maybe there's some in the house? There's a jar, that's something. Ah! Leave us alone! Oh my god! I think I've messed up the game. <laughs> I have a laceration. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> Oh no, what do I do? What do I do about that? Uh, I need bandages and a stitching kit. Well, I can make a stitching kit. Oh, oh my god. What have I done? I can't make bandages though, that would be cloth and I still don't have that. Rags. Yeah, and alcohol. I don't have alcohol. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Ah, <laughs> no! Rags. I need rags. I need that. Gimme. Give Gimme give rags. Um. Hang on, dandelion tea soothes a snake bite. Will that work for other kinds of injuries or just snake bites? Oh my god, there's bears in this game. You don't have a health bar, you just break your leg if you get hurt by something. Oh my god. This game is, is scary. Can we get on the raft safely? Oh god, oh my god. My animation changed. Okay, well let's try... Let's try heading over there and see if we can maybe find some some uh, extra rags and stuff so we can make a splint. Oh my god. Okay, this isn't an ideal place to be because it's a wilderness light on supplies. But let's give it a try though. Well, there's a, a quest thingy. Oh, I can use either of those. Okay, so I can kill the laceration. I thought I needed both of those things. Okay, thank God. Okay, so I need I need a splint so I can I can kill that broken bone. Uh, to make a splint, I think I need one more rag and that should do the trick. Yes.
Ah! Oh my god, this game is so scary. <laughs> oh my god, I need, I, need, I need another sewing kit. Can I make another sewing kit? I can. Okay, I'm gonna run out of fish hooks though. Oh, I need to use aloe for that, okay. Well, I have aloe so I can cure it, thankfully. Oh, thank god. Okay, I still need a splint though. To fix this broken bone. And this place isn't gonna have any, any rags, so let's get back on the raft carefully. Blessed river, deep country, fam farms, camps, and a lot of wilderness. All right. Ah. Oh my god. Things are not going well. <laughs> okay, I can see a camp of- Oh. Oh god. I'm gonna break my raft. My raft's gonna break. Let's head for that fish- fishery or whatever that is. Oh dear. Fishing line, hook, shelter. I could use some more fish hooks, so that might come in handy. Let's have a look around and see what they have. Also, I'm hungry, so I'll probably eat something. Either. Not a little bit. Okay, I definitely want that aloe because, yeah. I'm probably gonna step on more ants without realizing, knowing me. Yes, I'll have those fishing lines, thank you. Are they hooks as well? Because I could use some hooks. Yes, there are hooks, still some old lumber. I would like all of those things, so... Apparently jars don't get stacked up like everything else does, which is annoying. Let's have a bit of a sleep. Uh, maybe not. What, what food do I have? Can I eat something? Because I'm still hungry. Okay, there we go. Still got a broken leg, which isn't great. Now, I don't think there's any more rags here, so I can't make a splint. Let's head out and see what else we can find. I think there'll be more supplies around this area, though, so that we might be okay. Is there, there's like a farm or something? Oh, I can't get over there. Okay, then we're getting into a rapid area, which is not good. Because that.
Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, there's a campsite over there. They might have some cloth, so let's head that way. If we can. Yes. Yes, we made it. And our splint always has a lit fire. Also has beunies. That's pretty cute. That water. Fill a jar. Yeah, you, you can only drink water or fill a jar with water, which is weird. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Are there people over there? Feral children. 30 to 50 feral children. I am really, really hungry. I imagine having a broken leg makes you get hungry faster. I don't really have a whole lot of stuff to eat, though. see what's going on back there with all these trees in the way. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything that can help me on this particular campsite. Should we try to eat those bunnies? I think I can snare them, but I don't have the right equipment to do that. Maybe I think a braided cord to do it? I don't know. Yeah, trip braided cord is how you do it by looks of things. Yeah, that broken bone's about to, like, fill up the bar, which probably means I die or something. Or just have a broken leg forever. So that's not good. Can I reach that church? No. That might be a good idea, since... Oh no! The end of the game, let's die. Cause of death drowning. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so I get to look along the route and see where I visited. There's where I broke my leg. I drowned. Oh, I have this checkpoints. Okay, so I can actually reload. Right, because I picked the, the easier difficulty, not the permadeath one. So I spawn at the beginning of the zone, or how far back does it take you? It said Blessed River, that's the zone I was in. <sighs> okay, entering Blessed River. So I'm at the start of the zone again, by the looks of things. Let's see if we can avoid damaging ourselves as much. Maybe if we go this way? Instead of into the rapids? Okay, the rapids start here anyway, so... Not sure we avoided much, but whatever. Okay, there's a campsite over there. Let's see if that one has any cloth for me. 
that I can use to fix this broken leg. Can't kill a whale. Awesome. There's a sapling. Always good to get a sapling. And that's also a sapling. Well, I get a bunch of flint here, that's something. I was really hoping for rags so I could I could patch up my leg that's broken, but whatever. Is it a broken leg or just a broken bone? It didn't really make clear, but I'm not hobbling and stuff, so I guess it's probably a broken leg. Like, it could be a different broken bone. Does it actually say broken leg in the... No, it doesn't. Just bowed. Could be any bone. Could be one of the tiny bones in my ear. And I'm hungry, so I probably should eat something. Quest thingies. No way I can I make a stash of jerky, that sounds incredibly difficult. Alright, let's let's get in the on the raft again and keep looking, because I don't think we'll get rags here. Do have any? Yeah, we got one. Wasn't sure. Because I died and had to go to the checkpoint. Okay, that's a farm down there, so maybe it has what I need? Let's go have a look. Oh no, it's the piggy! Actually, it's gonna be a different piggy. Oh my god, I have two broken bones. This game is hard. <laughs> oh my god. Run! This is the worst. <laughs> There's not even anything in the house. Oh my god. This is terrible. I'm so bad at this game. I think I can fix the laceration. Yeah, so let's do that. I still have two broken bones though. And I don't have any linear enough supplies to fix that.
Hang on, hang on, I can get supplies from there. Jerky. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Glad I got that. Ah! Ah! Yeah, steering the raft in the rapids is, is really hard. Very hungry. That's not good. Okay, let's try to go to the church. I feel like a church might have cloth because, you know, you're, you're a person of the cloth. Rag stitching gets an alcohol. Yes, I was right. Excellent. Oh, so I'm very hungry, so I should eat something. Like a lot of something. Let's eat that jerky I found. alcohol. Raft schematic, but it's not what I'm looking for. Let's keep going this way. I think the actual church is in this direction. True. Rags. Yes, let's make a splint, let's go! We still have two broken legs though, so one splint isn't gonna help that much. Okay, okay, I only have one broken bone now. Instead of two. So that, that's better. Not a lot better though. Also, I'm exhausted and really hungry, so I'm gonna need to eat something probably. Uh, let's see, what can I eat? I hate the corn, but it doesn't give you much nutrition. Because I have two piles of cattails, so I might as well eat one of them. I really need that many cattails. I think that's a bit better. It's like a lot better. It's a bit better though. Okay, let's have a sleep because my fatigue is really, really bad right now. There we go. Oh no, it's raining! Ah! I can take shelter somewhere. Can I go back inside and just take shelter? Oh no! Wait, I actually want to sleep. I just want to go inside for a little bit. Apparently sleeping is the only thing you can do, so... Well, the rain stops, that's something. But now I'm really hungry. Okay, sumac's not food, so I can't eat that. I don't think I have anything I can eat. Something over here? Anything here? Oh, pouch. I could use a pouch. That sounds super helpful. Can I equip it or something? Use. <gasps> Inventory slots! How exciting. Yeah, I'm still super hungry, though. And I'm... Whatever ill-equipped means? Does that mean, like, it's the wrong weather or something? 
It's too cold. Okay, so I need to make some more insulated clothes. Which I can do. I can make insulated clothes. I've got the equipment for that. Is that better? Hmm. Apparently not. Apparently I'm still a little equipped. I guess that wasn't good enough. This game is hard. <laughs> to those spiky plants, so let's not go too close. Okay, let's not eat the devil's trumpet, but let's eat these dandelions. I'm still very, very hungry though. And I don't really have any food. Can I make like a fishing rod or something? Catch some fish to eat? Probably, but I don't have the right equipment to do that. Oh no! I guess that's it for now. So that's the flame in the flood. It's a game I'm not very good at, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a pretty neat idea. I forgot I could press that elder to quick deploy. You didn't really do that at all. Anyway, yeah, it's hard, but it's pretty awesome. Um, I'll probably get better at it with some practice. Um, hopefully. But you get the idea. Um, yeah, I, I would probably recommend checking it out. It's not like, it doesn't have any like special Switch stuff. So the Switch version is just, if you want to have it on a little portable console, you can. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the game. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 